Okay, so this video shows you how you can back up your drivers in Windows 11. This is handy if you have a driver go bad or get updated and it doesn't work or you need to reinstall a driver and this is very simple to do. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder on our desktop. So all we do is just find a blank space somewhere on the desktop and then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. And if you've clicked it correctly, then you should see this menu come up here. If you've not got this menu, if you've got a different menu, you might have clicked over something. Just move your mouse over to a blank space and try clicking the right mouse button again. So once you see this menu, move down to new and then go across to folder and then click the left mouse button. And then you'll see on screen there, you've got new folder. So you need to type driver backup, all one word all in lowercase, so that's driver backup, all one word, just as it's shown on the screen right now. Once you've typed that, press the enter or the return key on your keyboard. That will confirm that the folder has been created. This is where the drivers are gonna be backed up to. The next thing we need to do is we need to click on the start button and then just type terminal. That's T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L. And then hopefully after a few seconds, under best match, you should see terminal app. Now move your mouse over it and then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse again. And then you'll get this menu come up and you wanna move your mouse over run as administrator. Once you've done that, click the left mouse button. You'll then get this come up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says terminal there and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then move your mouse over yes, left click once. You should then have this black Windows PowerShell menu up. So all you need to do now is just type in the, uh, in the box there, just as I've got it shown on the screen, DISM space forward slash online space forward slash export hyphen driver space forward slash destination colon open speech marks C colon backslash users with a capital U backslash percent sign username or one word with a capital U percent sign backslash desktop with a capital D backslash driver backup, all one word, no spaces and all in lowercase, then speech marks. Now, I'm gonna put this command in the description of the video, so just have a look in the, in the description and you'll see that there. Or alternatively, you can pause this video while you make a note of it and then unpause it when you've finished. So once you've typed that in exactly as it's shown on the screen, Make sure that you, you've got all the spaces in the right place. Make sure you've got all the forward slashes, all the backsplashes, all the punctuation, all correct. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Now, you should see this come up if you've done it correctly. If you've done it wrong, then you'll get probably an error message come up. But there you go. The, 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 the idea is you want the operation completed successfully to come up near the bottom of the screen. Once you've done that, then brilliant. Your drivers for the computer are backed up. So let's just close down this box here by clicking on the cross at the top right hand corner of the box. And there you go, there's the folder there, driver backup. Now, if you want to, you can go into it. Nothing in there really makes any sense to you, but it's there, it's, it's a backup of all your files. You can copy that if you want to an external hard drive, to a pen drive. Probably a good idea to copy it somewhere other than on your computer. You can leave a copy on your computer if you want. You can move it to another folder if you need to. But I'm going to show you how you restore a driver. Say if a driver goes bad, it goes wrong, it gets uninstalled and you want to reinstall it. Now, how do you do that? So what we need to do is we need to click on the start button again. OK, and then just type on our keyboard device, D-E-V-I-C-E. And then hopefully after a couple of seconds under best match, you should see device manager control panel. 
move your mouse over that, left click once, and here's a list of all our devices. And as you can see here, I've got a device here with an exclamation mark in it, which means it's not working. If I double left click on that, there you go. It says the drivers for this device are not installed, code 28. There are no compatible drivers for this device. To find a driver for the device, click update driver. So it's gone wrong, okay? I've backed up my drivers when it was working, but this driver, it's gone wrong. So what do I do? So the best thing to do is, again, move your mouse over it, click on the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, then move your mouse over update driver, click on the left mouse button, and then what we want to do is we want to click on browse my computer for drivers, locate and install a driver manually. So click on that. Make sure that include subfolders is ticked, Okay, then click on browse. And what we want to do is we want to browse to wherever we've stored that a backup, a driver backup folder. So in my case, it's still on the desktop. So I go to user just there. That might be your username. Okay, double click that. Double click desktop and then scroll down and we should see there you go, driver backup. So click on driver backup, click on okay and then click on next. And there you go. It says Windows has successfully has successfully updated your drivers. And there you go, it's, it's told me what driver it's installed. So I click on close. And as you can see there, there you go. Broadcom memory stick has been installed. That was obviously the driver that was missing. And I've now got no exclamation marks in there. So there you go, there's a great little way to back up your drivers in Windows 11 and also shows you how to restore the driver if something had gone wrong with any of the drivers. Now, don't forget whilst you're at my YouTube channel, have a look round. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of topics. Hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.